Hello. Haven't seen you in a while. Um, today we're going to talk about Roy Masters getting arrested on September 29, 2017 and booked into Jackson County Jail for menacing, harassment, and disorderly conduct. And there is Roy Masters' booking photo. So that's the mugshot right there. Um, apparently authorities were called to Talk Radio Network office on East Pine uh, where they were summoned to the office, there was uh, an altercation, they seized an undisclosed weapon and arrested 89-year-old Masters. Um, there was a dispute over the property and a weapon was produced. And um, so he was booked into the county jail and then uh, released on bail. Um, so I looked up the code, the Oregon code for uh, these charges. Menacing, a person commits the crime of menacing if by word or conduct the person intentionally attempts to place another person in fear of imminent serious physical injury. Menacing is a class A misdemeanor. Um, so in the Oregon Code for Harassment, person commits the crime of harassment if they intentionally harasses or annoys another person by subjecting such other person to offensive physical contact, publicly insulting such other person by abusive words or gestures in a manner intended and likely to provoke a violent response. Harassment is a Class B misdemeanor. And the Oregon Code for Disorderly Conduct states engaging in fighting or violent or tumultuous or threatening behavior, making unreasonable noise. Hmm, he does that every day on his podcast. Uh, creating a hazardous or physically offensive condition by any act which the person is not licensed or privileged to do. So that's a Class A misdemeanor. Um, you know, the first thing I thought when I when I saw this when I saw this mugshot, was sad. That's a very sad uh, commentary on what's become of Masters. Um, he's an old crackpot who's who's been peddling his his hypnosis and pseudo religious jargon and BS for so many years now, and it's it's kind of coming back on him. And and his his own family's turning on him. All the infighting, borderline violent behavior that that's happening there from his own kids. It sounds like. He's just been a terrible parent, um, and and that's what happens when you treat people rotten, and they get tired of it. Well, that's that's the commentary on his life. That's what that's that's what he's going to end up with, a criminal record and going down in disgrace. And the kids that he doesn't want to take over his business are going to do it anyway because when he passes on, who's going to do it? You know, so there you go.